What's good my pack hunters welcome back to UB Hunter and we're back again for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links episode and in today's episode we're gonna showcase a new deck of sort it's my Phantom Beast well my Phantom Beast formation or my Phantom formation deck and a little side note before we actually begin today as you can see the event is still going on so you guys have the end of today actually to actually get the cards that you actually wanted from the event or have the luck or a chance to get it because i know not everybody might get every card they actually wanted i have not been that fortunate as yet but we have until 11 o'clock today because the current well the farmer end date or the previous end date should have been yesterday but they send out a notification that they changed the end date to today at 11 o'clock so you guys still have a few hours more to actually get some of the cards you actually need but let's jump right into the phantom formation deck that i actually created i haven't seen any deck out there as yet maybe there is but not that i could see and as i said i was not fortunate enough to get any of some of these cards so i only have one phantom beast rock lizard so that's just for completing the event i would like to t uh, take two in but i only have one i only used it once and it was pretty decent but it was a trial day a trial duel so I didn't count that as much the thunder pegasus i really haven't found the use for it as yet but it, it's a powerful tech card because whenever your opponent monster declares an attack you can remove, remove this card from your graveyard to make the battle you're taken by gazelle the king of the mythical beast or phantom beast to zero when that happened that monster is not destroyed by battle so it has the effect of bacon saver other than that we're rocking out with phantom beast wildhorn which is the main beater for the deck actually and i was had crazy luck with this card i pulled six of them so far you only could take three but nevertheless so it inflicts piercing damage to defense position monster so that's you right away that's your beater for the deck and this card is where the power from the deck comes because you might be wondering how can he actually takes out a lot of the higher monster out there but the phantom beast crosswing when it's in your grave all phantom beasts or mythical or gazelle the king of the mythical beast gains 300 attack points so we have three of them you have an extra 900 attack to any well to any phantom beast on the field that is actually absolutely destructive right there as alone and to get those cards into the grave we have the senator the senate the canator however you want to say it its special ability allows us to tribute one monster from our deck or our hand and this monster gain the attack points of that times a the level then the card is going to be into the grave which works pretty well with phantom beast crossway other than that fire formation which works pretty well well we have beast warrior type monster shuts on your enemy back row because there's no way we can actually touch the enemy's back row with the monster card that we have econ for tech wall of disruption for tech and zinzetsu zinzetsu you know it guys i have i have trouble pronouncing the name of this for tech for the back row so I actually haven't tried this deck out in pvp as i said i did a few NPC battles or a few small battles before just to see if the deck has one cohesive battle feel to it and I actually feel it does so hopefully we actually can do some work in the PvP today hmm. so as we're going along to the battle today guys let me know what changes would you make to the deck or what cards you might add and what cards you might take out because as you know i have my new series going on the channel which goes up on every sunday it's do good duelings it's called suggestion deck sundays so any changes you guys make for the deck i will build the deck on it and i will use it on that video i know i just self plug the channel but that's fine pick performance peak performance peak performance so well, i'm using joey because of the feel of warriors shun gun allows us to have the ability of all beast warrior and warrior type monster against 200 attack and defense so that is pretty big and i would say not a bad hand to start off with 
means hopefully we can actually draw a monster card next turn. One, set one more, set one more, beautiful. Can I activate it now? See, so set three. Okay, let's activate my Zin, Zine, however you want to say it. Don't tell me you forfeited already. I just shut down your back row, come on. I haven't even tried the deck out fully. Oh man, he forfeited. Well, first win under the belt. Let's move on. And whoa, 44 victories. Hopefully, we can actually get up to 100 by the end of the month so we can actually acquire the ultra rare token. I do have one more deck in mind, and I do need an alternate token to actually grab one more card from them. Well, from it, technically. I'll, all I could say, it will be featuring Joey as well. Let me know if you guys could figure what deck I'm actually going for. Joey Wheeler versus Bandit Keith. Okay, let's see our opening hand again. Feel of the Warriors. I could say not actually not a bad opening hand. I want to activate the fire formation. Set you at the back. Set you. I'm gonna set you in the defense position. Hmm. He can't get over me, that's for sure. That's normal summon wild horn and attack into the telepath. Because the telepath could destroy my strategy right now because of the back row. Tribute into the alien. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see what we can draw. Possibly the wall? No. I don't need another one of you. Hopefully he doesn't have telepath. Hopefully he doesn't have the telepath. If he does, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. Okay, he doesn't. Should I pop it now? Uh, I'm gonna hold on to it for right now. Okay. Place. A monster card. Hmm. Possibly we might go for a win, but I don't think it would actually work. The Centaur goes to 1700, 1800. We have a six level six monster, the Rock Lizard. Boost that up by 600. 
could possibly work. Let's try. I'm going to shut down both of his back row. If he wants to activate it, he will activate it. I guess not. Okay. I'm going to flip someone. Hopefully he doesn't have the Spirit Karibu in his hand. Where's my Rock Lizard? Here we go. Beautiful. So. Oh, don't tell me I actually have a second alien overlord. Well, if he tribute one, so maybe have a third alien overlord in his hand. Switcheroo. Who? Do not draw out alien telepath. He's summoning the overlord. Oh my god. Don't tell me I have the alien telepath. The alien telepath is the one card I'm actually scared of. Yes. Finally, the, the Thunder Pegasus actually came into use. Now, I'm going to activate and tribute this to the grave. No, I actually used the alien Pegasus wrong there. But, it's all over either way. I'm going to pop the enemy controller. Take control of his overlord. And I don't think he has Spirit Karibu in his hand. So that's GG. So that's two win on two wins under our belt. A little bit misplay with it, Thunder Pegasus. But nevertheless, we actually pulled it out. Let's move on to our third battle for the night. I do think if we add one more rock lizard, the deck would actually be pretty well. But I don't know what I actually want. Maybe take out one econ. Maybe. Because the rock lizard is nice, like as I we showcased there with the senator or the canator. How do you say it? You don't need that little oomph to get over some times. Whoa. Well, this dude reached my. Uh, I was the king of games a lot of times now. Okay, this is a real test. So, this is a gladiator deck, of course. This is gonna be a gladiator deck, no doubt about it. No doubt about it, it is a gladiator deck. Come on, do you think anybody who goes to King of Games don't really ever use a Gladiator deck? I'm not gonna activate two of them just because I have no idea what that phase on card is. And I don't want it to be as in Zetsu or in Zetsu. Okay. Summon a gladiator monster. And your turn. 
turn. Whoa. That is huge. So that face on card, I don't think it is actually a Zin, but maybe it is. I'm going to still hang on to it. And I'm still going to attack. Because Tia is down to 600 life points. Fire formation. Okay. Cyber steam. Holy crap. I was definitely wrong. I should have actually set both. Holy crap. Well, well, well. That's GG to him. GG to him. That was my over prediction. My over prediction. I give him a round of applause for that. I give him an absolute round of applause for that. I actually want, you know how long I actually want to try a Cyber Steam deck out? But never actually got a good one. So let's take a look at his deck. Spirit Karibo, Cyber Steam, Cosmic Cyclone. So what, I think his face on card was Mirror Wall. Yeah, I think his face on card was Mirror Wall. More likely. Or he, has a or he had a Spirit Karibo in his hand. That would have been my misplay there. But nevertheless, it was an exciting duel for me at least because I might might have well copied that duel deck and maybe next episode we're going to have a little fun. No, next episode there's actually going to be a new event which is the Wind and Earth DD Tower. So we're going to actually hit that up first for the next episode and then maybe in the following day we might do the Cyber Steam deck. Because it actually is a pretty good deck too, have I seen. I always keep thinking it was a cyber, uh, Gladiator deck because I know a lot of people who goes up to King of Game use the Gladiator deck. And it's just been my, maybe my over prediction or overcompensation there. Hmm. I know he can't see me until his third turn, but he's going first, so on the next turn he could see my face down card. That's fine. Go ahead, if you actually want to see my face down card, go right ahead. I'm thinking this is the golden flying fish deck that he's rocking out with with Pegasus. I'm thinking that's right. There it is. I gotta stop it before anything could go down. Tribute to you. Take control of the golden fish for right now. And he actually, he actually had this fish depth charge. First card out. 
Oh my god. He only there's only one of this in the entire game. And he actually dropped. And he actually had the powerful report as well. Oh my god. The absolute luck for this guy right now. <laughs> there's nothing I could do. He 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 won this. Oh my god, absolute luck. Let's see what I draw. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can pull this out, but there is no hope for this one. That's Econ. Definitely that's Econ. Super Rush. Never mind. Well, that's GG. Do you draw a monster? Most likely he does the oyster. Show me the oyster. No, the second flying fish. Oh man, such. I wouldn't say such bad luck well it is bad luck for me because he had such perfect hand in the opening the one c depth charge in the entire game and that dude drawn in his first set of hand holy god i still can't believe that i'm gonna give it i actually lost two decent egg look at this Come on, the depth seat charge won in the entire game. And he pulled it in his first opening hand. Oh my god. Hey, I'm not gonna complain. That's two amazing loss for me at least because one of them was a deck that I actually wanted to build, but technically he built a better one for me. So I'm gonna actually use that and try to see if I could actually play it as well as him. And the golden fish one, he had a pl he had better hands on me, but those were two epic loss for me at least. I don't think anybody ever get excited over a loss like this. Then I have no idea. But actually, let me know what you guys think about the deck. Let me know what changes would you gotta make to this deck, because for me at least, I actually find the deck to be somewhat unpredictable because nobody expects you to actually break out the phantom beast deck and i know there's a few more phantom beast card out there such as gazelle king of the mythical beast bofo met with as well as the chimera uh is it chimera yeah it's chimera the mythical beast or something like that it's called i know those are phantom beasts as well but they're also beast card so i didn't actually want to put them into the deck because they're beast monster type, not beast warrior. So Shun Gun or Shogun wouldn't boost them up. So, but the cross wing will. Maybe I'll make a variation of it with those inside. I'm not too sure yet though. But as I said, let me know what you guys think about this deck. Let me know what changes you guys make to the deck. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay tuned for more. And if you guys want to be a part of the pack hunters, hit that subscribe button and let's start the hunt. I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned for more.